kitchen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, dear. How's everything going? Um, just a so-so. So-so, yeah. <laughs> end of end of the semester. Are you are you student or? Um, sorry. Are you um are you a are you a student at the university or? Mm, actually, I am a teacher. Oh, you're a teacher. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's fun. Um, what do you teach? Um, what subject I uh, I am teaching? Yeah. English. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So, yeah, my. In but my... I think I sh so. Uh, I want to improve my English, so so that I can and um, teach my students um, more. Uh, how to say? Like, Sorry. <laughs> like more, more vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, so um, did 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 you get the um did you get the PDF that I sent? Um, the food on the West Coast is called for the lesson today. Um. Mm, yes. Yes, I have read it. Oh, you have it ready? Okay. So we'll get started. Uh. Um. <clears throat> So we're going to be talking about food in the West Coast. Um, so the West Coast, that refers to like um, California um, mostly. Um, it also includes Oregon and Washington and also um, and then beyond America, it's like um, Canada to the north and then um, Mexico to the south. Right. Just a little geography. Do you, do you understand? Um, California, Washington, mm -hmm. Oregon. Uh, oh, what, sorry. Oregon. It's another. It's another state. Oh, okay, okay. They're all on the west coast of the United States. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Because I they're they're by the ocean, right? So we're gonna be oh, okay. we're gonna be talking about foods from that region. Okay, I, I got it. Okay, great. Um, so the second page, the warm up page, we could talk about that. So, um, we'll talk about salads. Salads are really common in the West Coast. Um, do you enjoy salad? Mm, I, uh, actually, I don't. I don't. Uh, okay, I. Uh, I don't like it very much. No, you don't. <laughs> um, uh, sorry. How come you don't like salad? <laughs> hmm. How? Wh why? <laughs> why? Uh, um. Because it is very different from Chinese food. Maybe, maybe um, I don't usually. Eat it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But I think that the salad, salads are very mm, healthy. Yeah, they are healthy. Um, if you yeah. see them in the bottom. And, and, and last week, uh, I let my students make salad in in class. <laughs> oh, very good. Cool. I like it very much. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you were saying it's really healthy. So if you look at the helpful words, um, it talks about some of the ingredients that you typically put. So you have lettuce, chicken, egg. Chicken, yeah, fish. Fish. Dressing. Yes. What? What? What's dressing? What's dressing? Um, dressing is like um, like a like a sauce you put over it. Oh, saucy. Like so some kind of sauce, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, some sauces that they would put is like a Caesar called. Okay. Um, one okay. of them is called like a ranch dressing. Um, Italian. Italian dressing. Oh, I know it. I know. 
Okay, so let's move on. Um, let's go to the next question. Okay. Okay. So we have the reading. Um, so would you like to try to read the passage? Okay, I will try. Okay. Uh, fresh, local, and healthy foods characterize. Yeah. Characterize the cuisine. 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 cuisine? Yeah, that S is like a Z. Cuisine. Oh, cuisine? Yep. Cuisine in the West. California, California famous for its uh, fusion cu cu cuisine with Japanese, with Japanese culture like the California roll, invented many dishes like, like the cob salads. Shrimp, shrimp, and crab louis. Crab louis. Crab louis. And, um, uh, mm, <laughs> <Chopino, Chopino. laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an Italian word, I think. Chopino, <laughs> Chopino, Chopino, correct, correct. Created in San Francisco is a seafood maddening yeah. stew mixture of uh, Dungeness crab, clams, shrimp, scrap, or s scallops. <laughs> it's uh, scallops. Oh, scallops. Yep. Sorry. Squid, mm, mussels. Matt. Yep. And uh, various white fish, dipped in a uh, red wine broth. Broth. Yep. Okay. So, um, obviously, we have some vocabulary words there, um, that you that you read. Um, is there anything else that you don't understand? Mm. Correct. Characterize food, 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 cuisine. <laughs> okay, so um, characterize fusion and medley, those are all the vocabulary words. Um, so um, characterize is like so over here they describe it as normal quality um, of something. So like for example. Um, black and white stripes characterize a zebra. So characterize is a verb. Um, it's something that describes something typical. Okay, I know. Mm, character is uh, is characterized um, noun. Um, character is the noun. Yeah, you're right. So character is like. Mm. So character. Uh, character could be a like a. So a character could be someone in a story. So how do you characterize, like Cinderella? So Cinderella is typically a princess from from a castle. So that's yeah. that's how you characterize the character. That's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good connection you have there. Okay, I, I know, I know, characterize. Do you want to try to use it in a sentence? Mm. Mm. Let me think. Characterized. Uh, no, no, no. You could say an elephant is characterized as. Oh. Elephant uh, is char uh, elephants char 
characterized as um, Thailand. What was it? Talent? Thailand. Um, char elephants characterize talent. Like, is that like a um, like a metaphor? Mm, sorry, maybe I am uh, I I am wrong. Mm, <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Once again. No, no, no. Like you could say, like, what does an elephant typically look like? Big nose characterize uh, an an elephant. Yeah. So if I. A big nose. So um. So Jean, characterize an elephant, and then you would respond with, "Oh, an elephant is characterized as I have." Um, big nose, um, gray, tough skin, like those are the those are the typical qualities of an elephant. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. So, Jane, why don't you characterize um, a zebra? Um, zebra, black and white stripes. And then use use the word though that we learned. Characterize. Yep. Mm. So elephants, I mean, um, zebras are characterized as. Okay, okay, I know. Uh, zebras, zebras characterize as uh, black and white stripes. Yep. And um, just don't forget the verb. So zebras are characterized as having black and white uh, sheep char strips. Characterized as it's a it's a phrase, right? Um, it's a phrase. Characterized is is a um it's it's a verb. Character. Okay. Okay. So I if I characterize a bunny, I would be like um. The bunny is characterized as a um a hopping big ears. Yeah, big ears. Yep. All right, let's move down to the next one. Fusion. Okay. So fusion's just a combination or a mixture of different things. So um, like, have you ever heard of a California roll in sushi? Mhm. Mm so a California roll in sushi combines the two cuisines cuisine is um a type of food related to a certain culture so we have american cuisine which is like hamburgers hot dogs we have chinese cuisine lo mein um any chinese foods um uh french french cuisine which would be like escargot baguettes macaroons um Italian cuisine, which is pasta. You get what I mean? Sorry. So cuisine is uh, the food from a certain country. So what what makes up Chinese cuisine? Mm. You tell me. Mm. Hot pot. Yep. That could be part of your Chinese cuisine. Um, so a fusion, for example, um, could be Japanese and, and California cuisine to make California roll sushis. You get it? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so do you understand? Is it cuisine that you don't understand or fusion? Mm, cuisine, cuisine. Oh, cuisine. Okay, cuisine is a type of food from a region. Okay, okay, I know it's a type of food. Yep. So, um, like Chinese food is Chinese cuisine. Cuisine is like a really fancy way to say food. Oh. <laughs> um, they they. Cuisine and food have have a similar 
Yep. Uh, meaning. Yep. Okay. So California food and Japanese food, those those foods combine and you get California roll sushi. You get sushi with avocado. Avocado was not something that Jap- Japan used to use. Right? It's a mix it's a mixture food. Yep. Um so well the cuisines they so they're separate. They come together as a fusion. That's the other vocabulary word. And it, that means that they combine to make a new thing. So now we understand cuisine, right? Now I don't think you understand cuis- um fusion. Do you know what fusion okay. means? Sorry, I can't hear you clearly. Oh, you can't? Um, do Maybe you want... there are some wrong with the uh, internet. Yeah, that's weird. I'm not sure. Mm, okay, let's go on. Go on. Um, do you know what fusion is? Uh, fusion, yes. What's fusion? It's, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, um, Sorry, you you want me you want me to make a sentence with uh, fusion? Yep. So. Different, mm, different fruits. Yep, perfect. Um, so tell me, what is the meaning of fusion now? Mm. A, a mixture of different things. Yep. So in this case, we have a fusion of two different cult, uh, two different cuisines, right? Yeah. So we have a fusion um, of Japanese cuisine and a fusion of California cuisine to make different foods that's never been invented before, right? Okay. Now the last one is a medley. Medley is just an adjective. Um, it just means a mixture of different things. So a salad is a medley of different flavors. You understand? You want to try to. You want to try to make it in a in a sentence. Mm. So. It's an it's an adjective adjective, right? Yep. Um. But in this case, they use it as um they use it as a noun, so you could use it as an adjective or a noun. Um, like for example, wherever you would wherever you would use mixture, you could just replace it with medley. So, um, seafood is a medley of different types of foods. Do you want to try using medley in a sentence? Mm, um, sorry, maybe there are something wrong with the internet. Uh, so I want to use my phone in another, uh, uh, in another space. Okay. In another room to connect with you. Okay. Do you, if you don't mind. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so I will, um, uh, video you, uh, I, I, I will give you a call. Uh, in one minute. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. See you in a bit. Thank you. Thanks for your under- uh, understanding. No problem. Okay.
I go up here. Hi, is that Hi. better? <laughs> See you again. Is that better? Can you hear me? Uh, sorry? Can, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hello to uh, Uncle. <laughs> Hi. Uh, this is my daughter. Oh, that's so cute. Sorry. sorry. That's okay. Alright, so do you want to go on to the okay. next reader? Um, uh, yeah, um, but uh, I'll. Um, okay, let's go on. Okay, um, the next reader it starts with Crab mm. Louis. Okay, okay, I'll read the passage, right? Yep. Crab, uh, crab Louie is a salad made with crab meat along with hard boiled eggs, tom tomatoes, mm. asparagus, um, cucumber, and uh, Romanian uh, and uh, iceberg lettuce. Invented okay. in Hollywood, Cobb salad is a dinner salad made from iceberg lettuce and other salad greens like romaine, romaine tomatoes, bacon, red, uh, chicken, hard boiled eggs, uh, avoc avocado, <laughs> avocado, avocado, um, 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 avocado cheese, and uh, uh, ro roquefort um, the cheese. The, the word before that is chives. Uh, uh, or, or, chop, or chopped uh, uh, and, and, and tossed toss together with French dressing. A mixture of red wine, um, vine, vine gar, uh, vin vinegar, vinegar. Uh, lemon, lemon, um, um, mustard. Yep, mustard. Mus um, mustard, oil, and uh, uh, oil. <laughs> That's a tough okay. one. Okay. Uh, Worcestershire. Um, Worcestershire. Um, actually, I'm not sure about the pronunciation either. Let me just double check. I think it's Worcester sauce. Um, Worcester sauce. Where was the cob salad invented? Um, cob salad. I think it was invented in the west coast of of uh, of of the United States. Oh. Worcestershire. Okay, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yep. Wor so it's um Worcestershire sauce. Oh, okay. You want to try to say Worc that? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Sauce. Yep. Um, and then Worcestershire sauce. And then, um, so if we count one, two, three lines above Worcestershire sauce, it says hard-boiled eggs. What What's the word after that? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Cobb salad was invented in Hollywood. <laughs> Invented, uh, sorry. The Cobb salad was invented in Hollywood. That's what it says. Oh, 
Pony Rider, right? Yep. Uh, the Mbobi Centaur. Yep. Um, now, what, what is the, what does the word say after hard-boiled eggs? Mm, hard-boiled eggs. What, right? what's the word right after? Uh, avocado. Well, sorry, I don't know. That's okay. Avocado? Um, so the stress is going to be on the ka. Avocado. Oh, avocado. Yeah, perfect. Avocado. Um, do you know what an avocado is? No. Avocado is like, um, it's, it's like, um, a, like, it's a circular fruit, green, has a big pit in it. Um, you cut around the pit. Let me show you a picture. Um, and then what's the word after avocado? Avocado. What is the word right after it? Mm hmm? What is the word right after avocado? Uh, chives? Uh, so it's chives. Ch chives. Yep. Chives is just a type of, um, oh wait, this is avocados. Have you ever seen oh. that? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. See it. Does that look familiar? Mm, I'm not very familiar with this kind of fruit. Oh, okay. Um, and these are chives. It's just something you would put in a salad. Oh. Okay. Yep. Um, and then, um, can you read what's after chives? Can you read it? What's after chives? Um, row crave. Sorry. <laughs> it's Roquefort French. Roquefort cheese. Yeah, Roquefort. Roquefort cheese. Yep. Um. Okay. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next passage. Then it's more reading. Wanna go? Wanna try it? Uh, sorry. Let's go. Water and toss it together. Oh wait, where is that? Are you on the reading? Hmm. And another reading, right? Yep. Um. It starts with California has. Oh. California has. Also taken from Mexican cuisine to create the California Mexican food for you. Yep. California burrito and fish fish taco. Yeah, good. Go ahead. The burrito a large flour tortilla. Tortillas. Tortillas. Uh, so, um, this is a Spanish food, so the pronunciation is a little different. Um, the L's in this case, you pronounce like a Y. So it's going to be tortilla. Tortilla. You want to try to say it? Tortilla. Uh, continue, right? Can you say the word? Tortilla. Tortilla. Yep. And then go ahead. Continue. Tortillas filled with rice, several options of meat, beans, salsa. Yep. Cheese and um, guacamole. Guacamole. Uh, it's um guacamole. Hmm. 
So we'll start. We'll do it syllable by syllable. So it's gua, ka, gua, guacamole, 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 guacamole. Yep, um, guacamole is um, it's a, it's like a type of, they, it, it's type, it's a type of Mexican dish that they had avocados in it, tomatoes in it, cucum, um, um onions in it it's really good they put lime in it have you ever heard of it no sorry <laughs> that's okay all these new foods that you could learn about um so tortilla is that so they make like burritos with that it's it's made of flour oh. it's very soft um it's the base of a lot of dishes um okay mm-hmm. but Let's carry on. So, what's after guacamole? Guacamole, a wrapped with a precise technique mm-hmm. in foil and enjoyed. And if you are a fan of seafood, the Pacific Northwest region is for you. Its cuisine comes from a, a, the region's natural resources like Pacific salmon, uh, king crab, uh, honey butt, and herring. Yeah, great job. Okay. Uh, which country's cuisine helped create the California uh, burrito? Mexican. Yeah, Mexican cuisine. Um, Mexican. Okay, so now we have some new vocabulary, right? Um, so, yeah. do you know what the meaning of precise is? Yes. Something very accurate with no mistakes. So, um, so when you read California, you, you said it precisely, which means that you said it correct. Do you want to try to use yeah. it in a sentence? Um, mm, okay. Um... Um, the the number is eight. Um, um, okay, sorry. Um, be precise. A person. A person can I, be precise as well. I am a very per- precise. Uh, no that's good so if you are very precise that means that you make no mistakes <laughs> no uh precise uh can describe uh, the lumber right um what do you mean by lumber are you talking about what like trees like oh mm-hmm. an, oh a number hey in Precise can describe uh, a number. For example, uh, 10. Oh, yes. It's a precise number. Yeah, you know what? Um, they have even more precise numbers. So you could have 10.973. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10.9. Um, uh, three, well, um, po- it's very precise, right? Yep, very accurate, yep. Um, let's move on to the next one. Um, fan. So... I know, I know, fan. Oh, okay. So I could be like, I'm not a big fan of, um, burritos, maybe. Just means that you dislike something, maybe. Um... Or it could be the opposite. I am a big fan of burritos, which means I love burritos. Um, yeah. And now natural. For example, I. Oh, go ahead. Uh, now I am a fan of you. Thank you. I'm a fan of you as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we have natural resources. So materials that come directly from the earth. So. Can you think of any natural resources? Stuff that comes right from the earth? 
Oud. Oud. Um, is a little Ood. more precise. Oh, how do you spell it? Uh, w o o d. Oud. Oh, wood. <laughs> water. Yeah, water. Yeah. Water. Those are all. Uh, so soil. Soil. Yeah, those are all natural resources. Water is yeah. huge. Water is like really in, in demand right now. Fresh water. Okay, let's yeah. move on to the next page. Okay. Greatest Um, I don't have too much time to do the comprehension, so unfortunately I think we should skip it. Mm. So let's skip the two pages and then go to the last one, the discussion. So, the first question starts with, is it important? Are you there yet? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I am here. Oh, okay. So, let's talk about the first one. So, is it important to have different kinds of foods, and why? So, mm. first, do you understand the question? Mm, which question? The first one? Uh, cuisine is in, in the West is really fresh and healthy. Um, we're gonna go to the next page. Oh, next page. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I see. I see. It's uh, And then. Yes, yeah, of course, it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. So why why do you think it's important to have yeah. different kinds of foods? Because uh, our body needs uh, different kinds of uh, mm, kinds of uh, energies. Yeah, that's true. Um, and what is the food like in your country? Mm, sorry. So the second question: What is the food like in your question in your in your country? So. Describe the kind of food in your country. Mm. For example, um, hot pot. Uh, a hot pot is a mixture of a different, um, different uh, um, vegetables, meat, meat, and okay. Uh, a hot pot uh, is uh, is a pot. Uh, we first uh, first we um, boil the water. Mm. Uh, we we add oil, um, ginger, uh, and uh, different kinds of uh, sauces, uh, uh, pepper, salt, and so on into the pot. Next, uh, we uh, put uh, put the vegetables, meat, um, potatoes, tomatoes into the pot, and uh, boiled it, uh, and um, and we can enjoy the food. Oh wow! Yeah, that's awesome. Um, in my country, um, a lot of the food is like very diverse. Diverse meaning a lot of variety. Um, uh, di different kinds of things. different types because we have a lot of people from all over the all over the world here. We have people from yeah. China. We have people from Korea. We have people from Italy. We have people from Spain. So we have a lot of different diverse foods here. Um, let's talk about the third one. Um, how will food change in the future? change so first do you understand the question yeah okay uh, it's it's a tricky question though yeah but, but I don't know how to answer it how will first change maybe we'll use different ingredients I don't know maybe, maybe we'll... I, I think a food will um, more uh, diverse and um, yeah, because 
uh, Chinese food and, uh, uh, for example, uh, American food, Japanese food, we all mix together, maybe. We all create another, uh, other different kinds of food. Yeah, we can create another cuisine, right? Ah, uh, cuisine. Yeah, it would be a, a fusion of American and Chinese cuisine. <laughs> um, and now for the fourth question, what kinds of foods do you like and what kinds of foods do you dislike? Mm, I like, I like, um, uh, uh, hamburgers. What are they? Mm, hamburgers. Hmm. Oh, hamburgers. Oh, yeah. Hamburgers. I like them mm, too. Sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah. Mm, chicken. Me too. Gong bao chicken. You know gong bao chicken. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Um, gong bao chicken. I'll look it up. Okay, okay, sorry, it's kind of a uh, Chinese food. Gong bao chicken. That's okay. Um, and then, what are the foods that you dislike? I, uh, I don't like, um, uh, I don't like a salad now, but, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll try salad uh, in the future. Uh, I hope I can love them uh, because they are really uh, healthy and they're uh, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I like salads. Um, I like avocado. I like guacamole. What, what kind of salads do you like? Um, I like Cobb salads. They're really great that we were talking about before. Um, I like Caesar salads. It's like a type of salad that you add Caesar dressing to, and it has chicken, it has um, croutons. Croutons is like, um, have you heard of a crouton? Good. No. So Sorry. it's it's like toasted bread, almost. Um, and it, and oh. like toasted bits of bread that they put in your salad. It's really good. Um, they put um, cheese in it. It's, it's yummy. Um, and then the foods that I dislike, hmm, I don't like, um, um, hmm, I don't like lima beans. It's like a type of bean. Um, bean? yeah, it, it's a, it's, it's like green beans almost. Um, oh. what, and what, what did you say you dislike? Oh, salad. Mm. You said you don't like salads, right? Oh, so... No, no. This is gum bao chicken, right? Yeah. Oh, it looks good. I would definitely like to try that in the future. <laughs> mm. um, Matt, uh, I, I know it, it's my fault today. Uh, I can't check the internet in the room, so I wasted your time. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, so that was the last page of our lesson, so we can end there. But it was so nice talking to you and meeting you. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you are a very good teacher. Maybe I will uh, spend some time, t uh, some time on the uh, reading um, because I am so busy today. So, uh, sorry, uh, no, there are okay. some new words for me, so, so, but you are very good, very, very good. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, um, and I hope to have class, uh, uh, have a class, have this with, uh, have your classes. All right, great. Me too. I'm looking forward to your classes as well. All right, so I'm going to sign out now, but... I'll see you, I'll probably see you again, right, Sunday? Mm, yeah, As, mm. um, so uh, next time I will um, 
spend more time before the class so I can understand you more. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm going to log out now, so I'll see you. Bye. See you. Bye.